Hello everyone again. This is Heraklis from the National Documentation Center of Athens, Greece and welcome to the next introductory module of Entrepreneurship and Corporate Entrepreneurship in Colibri project. So, what we will be discussing about is an introduction to entrepreneurship and the essence of entrepreneurship in three simple steps. Three very simple steps that are the problem, the solution, and the company. What are these steps? The first step in entrepreneurship is identifying a problem that needs a solution. A problem of the society, a problem of the technology, a problem of users, something that is a real need of the community. And then, this problem can be solved in very different ways. A variety of ways that can provide the solution to this problem. The solution that you will particularly choose will be related to the opportunity. This is the opportunity for, for creating a company. And the company is only the vehicle that will drive you the, and this specific solution to the users, to the needs. The solution to the problem comes back to the users. What Vinod Kosla once said, and I will let you alone to look up who this entrepreneur is, that any big problem is a big opportunity. If there is no problem, there is no solution and no reason for a company to exist. No one will pay you to solve a problem that doesn't exist. What I would rephrase this quote is, however bigger the problem, the better the opportunity, the better the solution, and the better prospects for success for your company. So, please try and identify the problem that you will need to solve. This is the very first step, and it all begins with the problem. But let's look at some characteristics that entrepreneurs have in common and share. Are there any common specifics, specific characteristics? Yes, there are. Research shows that entrepreneurs have some quite not very popular characteristics or attributes. They have issues with authority. They desire to make an impact. They have the ability to think big. They have optimism, eternal optimism, and they can focus like laser, like laser blades. They are curious, they're crazy, and they have attention deficit disorder. Research shows that 9 out of 10 highly successful entrepreneurs have attention deficit disorder. What this means is that if we let this disorder or these characteristics just to medical cases, probably the entrepreneurs would be on drugs. But the entrepreneurs have these attributes and they can use them in a positive way. This doesn't mean that if you do not have attention deficit disorder, you cannot be a successful entrepreneur. But you will definitely have things to learn from this list of characteristics. So this is an EU project. So we will try, first of all, to define entrepreneurship. And since this is an EU project, we will go with a working um, definition by the European Union. What is entrepreneurship? This is the individual's ability to turn ideas into action, to be innovative, to take initiative, take risks, plan and manage projects with a view to achieving objectives. This is not the only, of course, definition of entrepreneurship, but anyone can define entrepreneurship and you can find many definitions on the web. And this is what we will do with our first assignment at this module. So, I would like to go with the first assignment and ask you three questions. 
These three questions are the following. What is an entrepreneur? What are common characteristics of entrepreneurs? What are the most common pictures that cross your mind when you hear about entrepreneurship and an entrepreneur? I would like you to identify the answers to these questions and go back to the Moodle platform and read the assignment, the guidelines, and create a presentation answering these three questions. This will be a peer assignment. Afterwards, when you finish this exercise, this first assignment, you will be able to continue with the video of this e-module.